In the past five days, there have been five homicides in Minneapolis. Investigators are working nonstop to gather evidence to bring those responsible to justice. But as Reg Chapman reports, Minneapolis is once again on a record pace for homicides in 2022. A violent five days in Minneapolis. Well, since the 20, five homicides. The weekend saw three murders within a span of 15 hours. Well, just before noon, um, we had a shooting on the 4100 block of Portland. And then about 12 hours later, just before midnight, um, there was a shooting in the area of Lagoon and Hennepin. And then two hours later, on a transit bus, there was a stabbing that occurred that resulted in, in a death. A fatal shooting on Bryant Avenue North on April 20th and another murder in the 600 block of 1st Avenue North on the 22nd puts Minneapolis on pace for a record-breaking year. 26 year to date last year, we're 27 today, and that uh, unfortunately is, is the case that we're on pace uh, to last year's uh, trend. Minneapolis police are working around the clock, but they need help. In times when we see murder rates going up, we need people talking more. MPD hopes that people are uncomfortable speaking with officers. They look for community leaders or boots on the ground organizations. We're asking for partners in the community, those who can reach out to individuals who have a propensity to violence and speak with them. Police say there's no way to police yourself out of this surge in violence. The only way is to stand shoulder to shoulder with community and work together to make a difference. Because when we stay silent, we leave people in danger. Rich Chapman, WCCL 4 News. Well, there have been hundreds of violent carjackings across the metro, but they don't stop at the city limits. Senator Amy Klobuchar put together a roundtable with police chiefs from across Minnesota. They talked about efforts to stop carjackings and looked at how the isolation of the pandemic may be partly to blame. So you take hope away from people and they don't buy into society and you start detaching people away from humanity. This is what you get. Police chiefs say they want to help parents, too, with the resources to provide mental health support and after-school programs. They say it is a way to stop repeat offenders.